Hi guys, this is Marley and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you how to treat blight in tomatoes. I will be applying a tomato blight treatment in my garden today because many of my plants got infected with early blight. Early blight is when there is a brown spot um, and then yellow color outside that brown spot and they usually start in the bottom leaves of your plant and then they go up. Usually that is due to the fungal spores that are in the soil that get splashed into the leaves and so the leaves get infected with the blight. This is a very simple, easy and inexpensive way to treat the tomato blight and many of you probably have this in your medicine cabinet and I am talking about hydrogen peroxide. You can use any brand of 3% hydrogen peroxide, put it in a spray bottle, um, add some water and then spray it onto the leaves. The ratio is 5 to 8 tablespoons of 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide dissolved in 1 gallon of water. I have prepared a solution of hydrogen peroxide. Um, I put 5 tablespoons of 3% hydrogen peroxide in this 1 gallon sprayer and then you're gonna use the fine mist to spray onto the top and the bottom of the leaves. Let me show you how to spray the tomato plants with the hydrogen peroxide solution. Using a fine mist, we're going to spray the top of the leaves and then also spray the bottom of the leaves. So you just do it like this, apply on top and then spray in the bottom. I have removed the bottom leaves of the plants to lessen the amount of blight spores or fungal spores in my plants. And then I also mulched the base of my plants to lessen the amount of soil that splashes when I water my tomatoes. Although hydrogen peroxide is not organic, hydrogen peroxide has been used for a long time and hydrogen peroxide does not stay on the leaves of your plant for a long time. Depending on how hot the day is, hydrogen peroxide undergoes a thermal decomposition to produce water and oxygen molecules. So basically that H2O2, which is hydrogen peroxide, is converted into water and oxygen, which are two harmless substances. So I'm not going to worry about introducing this chemical into the fruit that I am eating because basically this one will go away here in a few hours especially that it's a sunny day today and it's gonna be a hot day the hydrogen peroxide will stay on the leaves for just a few hours until all of the H2O2 molecules are decomposed meaning they turn into something else and that is water which is H2O and oxygen gas with the formula of O2. If tomato blight is left untreated, this is what's gonna happen. It will infect all of the leaves of the plant, eventually killing the plant. So this one is a shame because this one has a lot of fruits, but I'll have to get rid of this because this plant is dead. Just like the other chemical sprays, make sure that you do a test spray before you spray the whole garden with hydrogen peroxide. To do a test spray, 
you will spray one plant with your prepared hydrogen peroxide solution spray the top and the bottom of the leaves and then wait for 48 hours after 48 hours check that plant and if there is no damage on the plant then you can spray the rest of your tomato plant with your prepared hydrogen peroxide solution if you are spraying due to an outbreak of tomato blight you might have to come back a couple of days later and check the leaves and do a second application that is all up to you if you will do another application some people will do a second application but again that is all up to you and it will also depend on the condition of your plants now let's talk about the storage of your prepared hydrogen peroxide solution so say for example you prepared one gallon of hydrogen peroxide solution and then you did not use the whole bottle of solution um, it is okay to store the hydrogen peroxide solution but you have to store the solution in a cool dry dark place and the reason for that is because hydrogen peroxide reacts with the heat and it also reacts with the light and so if you leave it in this white or um, clear container then the h2o2 molecules or the hydrogen peroxide molecules will react with the light and will react with the heat will undergo thermal decomposition to form water and oxygen and so what i'm gonna do is that i will put this sprayer in a cool place um, I will put this in a um, in a dark tote so that it will not be exposed to the light so that I can keep the hydrogen peroxide molecules intact and it will still be effective in treating tomato blight the next time I spray my plants if you look at this bottle um, the bottle is a um, colored plastic and the reason for that is so that the hydrogen peroxide molecules will not react with the light if you learned something from this video click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching and see you next time